Rick is quiet. Rick knows all about that big ball. And Rick is quiet. Attention, please. Dick Moreland's plane has just passed over the Los Angeles City Hall. Dick is ahead of all world records for a solo flight. There he comes. Yeah, it's Dick Moreland, all right. There he is, our own Dick Moreland with the world record and the $25,000 prize. Give him a big hand. How do you do, Mr. Brassett? Congratulations, Mr. Marlin. Thank you. Yeah. Now, Dick, tell it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. On one condition. Let me call up my home first. All right, All Dick. Right. Let's make it snappy. Yeah. 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 Mr. Marlin's residence. Mr. Robert Morton, please. One moment, please. Home, sir. Hello. Hello. Dick! Well, I'm glad you're back safe and sound. How are you, my boy? Well, tell me all about it. I'm all right, Uncle Bob. She would like to be home with you. But they give a little reception at the club here tonight for me. Well, have a good time, Dick. It's coming to you. I'll tell Sir John about your trip. And tell him it won't be long until we find out if he was on the level about that gold. All right, Dick. No, I won't wait up for you. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sir John, your blood surely flows in Dick's veins. Be it pirate blood or not. Well, Dick, your refusal of the flattering offers made you make us believe you had a secret motive in making this flight. How about it? You were right. You promised to keep it a secret? I'll tell you my motive. Oh, go on, Dick. Shoot the works. The glory meant nothing. 
And the money paid me by the aviation company to pilot their plane around the world was not the inducement. But with the money, I'm going to accomplish a lifelong ambition. Another flight, Dick? No. An expedition. An expedition? An ancestor of mine. A pirate, if you please. Buried a lot of gold on a tropical island. In our safe at home, we have a parchment showing the location. You may laugh at the idea, but I thought enough of it to risk my neck on the flight. Well, where is it, Mr. Morland? Let us in on it, Dick. Pirate gold, huh? You know, I've had one experience with pirate gold. You have? Then you're just the man I want. A man with experience. Yes, but I'm afraid it was a rather sad experience. The only gold came out of my own pocket. <laughs> Yeah. Very good. But this is different. Now, here's how I'm going to buy it. Boys, I've just taken on a big job. Kurt, you know the morning home? Dick Morland's? Sure. Well, in the Morland safe, there's an old parchment marking the location of some buried treasure. Sounds good. There'll probably be a lot of excitement up there until Morland gets home and into bed. So you'd best hold the job until early morning. Just about daybreak. Yeah. Jed, you drive the car. We'll have Tony get Marge and follow in another car. In case we want to make a switch. Right. All right. Now, we'll work it this way. Kurt, you get everything set. One five. Keep the change. Thank you. your pirate gold.
the treasure here before those laggards discover us. chart of its location. Oh, chart in here. Look, Jed, the chart. The boss will be tickled to death when he sees this. Come on, get going.
Why, you're Dick Marlin, the flyer. Oh, you know, I'm really awfully sorry. Oh, I didn't that's mean all to... right. You know my father, John Craig? The president of the International Airways? Yes, I'm Dorothy Craig. Why, I'm delighted to know you. Won't you please follow that car? What do you, you want to follow them for? What do they do? Oh, I'll tell it to you later. But we've got to get him. Okay. We've got to catch him. right on his heels.
Sorry, we'll help Kitty, him. You can't do that. Come on, get her. Why take the girl? Until she's seen us, we'll be able to recognize it. Get out of here before we're seen by somebody. So would you for this chart. It locates millions in pirate gold. Well, Morland won't trouble us anymore. Oh, yeah? He's right in back of us now. Come on, step on it. I just drove in here. That's seven passes to then. Ain't been no car in here in the last half hour except yours. Why, I think I saw a car come in here. What do you think I've done with it, Edit? You better change your bootlegger. Any orders for me, boss? Not yet. Any more nuts you want fixed? You might work on this one. Well, from the way things look around here, I, I guess I was wrong. You sure was, fella. You better go home and sleep it off. Thanks. I'll do that. That staff was easy. Well, you put it over on him, all right. I've got to report to Brassett. Tell the others to come to the sky room as soon as they've locked up the girl. Right. that window. It's five stories, straight down. Kirk wants you guys up in the sky room right away. Okay.
Hello, Brassett. Kurt speaking. Well, did you get it? Sure, we got it. Yeah, Moreland passed the chart to a girl, so we brought her along. All right. Guard that girl carefully. Find out who she is, and remember, she can identify every one of you. The boy just come in. I'll have Mike look the chart over and report to you later. Well, boys, we'll see what a pirate chart looks like. Well, Mike's the only sea dog among us. What do you say, Mike? Is it the real thing? Yeah, it looks genuine. The fella that draw this was sure a mariner. And it's old enough to be the real thing. Say, where is this island? When do we go? You don't go. It's in the South Seas and a man's job. No help here, Tony. Get on and keep an eye on the girl. You're right. Latitude and longitude are just a lot of words to me. Oh, what's that, Mike? I got you into. I'm not so much concerned about what you got me into as how you're going to get me out. That really? door's locked. We'll find a way to get out somehow. Hey, do you know where those men are? They said something about a sky room. Sky room? Yes. How did you get loose? This old pirate, Sir John Moreland, was an ancestor of young Dick. And he buried millions in gold on this island. How did Brassett get wise? You're always asking foolish questions, Marge. If you must know, Dick told some friends at the Aerial Club. And Brassett was sitting in on the chatter. Miss Craig, your car is just around the corner on River Street. Wait for me there. What are you going to do? Find a sky room. I've got to recover that chart. Oh, they'll kill you. Let me call in the police. No, not yet. There's too much at stake. You wait for me 20 minutes and then call the police. All right, Dick. Come on now. You go down here. Be careful. Think about it, we don't know. You better go down and find out. This island here.
Now, Mike, you're sure you gave me all the dope on this chart? There he is, boy. at the same time. Come on, we'll try and hit them off the other way.
in more places at the same time. Come on, we'll try and hit him off the other way. Push him over. You're lucky, but it's worth the risk to get this. You recovered your treasure jar. Oh, I'm awfully glad. Now, where do we go? Well, I guess we both had enough for one day. So if you'll take me home, I'll be more indebted to you than I am already. Look, there's the girl. How did she get out? Yes, and there's Marlon. Let's go get him. Not a chance with that crowd around. We'll round up the others. I'm very sorry to have exposed you to all this danger. Oh, please don't worry. When I almost hit you this morning, I was on my way for an early morning flight in my plane, hoping to get a few thrills. I hope you haven't been disappointed. Oh. <laughs> now we can. What's up, Mark? The girl, she's gone. Yeah, we saw her. And Tony's in there, out. He must have stopped a hot one. I've had my experience with Moreland. And he sure does pack a wallop. Jed, you and Marge take care of Tony. I've got to tell Brassett what happened. Come on, men. Morland got the chart away from us. Kurt, I can hardly believe you're dumb enough to let a thing like that happen. Now get this. Morland's probably gone home. I want him watched every minute. Find out who that girl is. He managed somehow to get her away before we even learned her name. You come over here. I'll be waiting for you. I'll be right over. Why don't you call in the police? Well, it really isn't a police matter. But maybe I had better on your account. Oh, no, please don't. If Father knew, he'd probably forbid my early morning flight. Looks like we have to keep it a secret. But I would like to tell you what it's all about. Oh, I'm just dying to know. Won't you come in and see Uncle Robert? He'd never recognize you, the same little girl he used to know. <laughs> and then we can talk about the charge. Oh, marvelous. Craig, I'd like to have you meet my uncle, Robert Morland. How do you do, Mr. Morland? Not John Craig's little girl. <laughs> I'm afraid so. My, my, I'm older than I thought. <laughs> uh, come, Dick, sit down and tell me all about it. Uh, so one man was able to outwit your entire outfit, huh? One man of young Morland's caliber. He's dynamite. Yeah? Well, even dynamite can be handled. Did you get any information from the chart? No. It was complicated, and we didn't have it long enough. But Mike says he believes it's genuine. Jed and Mike are trailing Moreland now. We'll have another look at his safe tonight. 
I'll never find the chart in that safe again. Marla's too smart for that. Now, we've got to get after him in earnest if we want to get in on that gold. Now, listen. I want you to round up. So you see, their reason for wanting this chart is it shows the location of a gold treasure buried years ago by our pirate ancestors. And you're going after it. Someone doesn't beat us to it. It puzzles me to try to think who could have learned about the chart. There must have been a leak somewhere. There's been a leak, all right. But it's hard to believe it could have been up the Aero Club. I'm going there tonight, and I'll warn the crowd to be careful. That's the girl's car, all right. Cut the license. I'm on radio to the boss. He wants to know who she is. I got it, all right. I suppose your next move will be to get a ship. Yes, but we've got to be very cautious about it. You know, I was just thinking, my father has just the ship for you. That's interesting. What is it? The Lottie Carson. He uses it to carry planes to foreign countries. LZ. Calling 4-1. LZ, calling 4-1. This is 4-1. Go ahead. All right. You two cover Moreland's every move. Right. Find out who that girl is. Dorothy Craig. John Craig's daughter, huh? Why, he's president of International Airways. Where does she figure in on this deal? I don't know. But keep her out of it if you can. That sounds like the kind of a ship I want. If you like, I'll ask Dad to meet you at your club tonight. That would be great. But don't tell him of our experience. He might worry. <laughs> don't worry. I won't. important to say to you. Has Mr. Craig been here? You mean old J.C.? Yes. He hasn't been in tonight. I thought I was among friends last night when I told you about my secret. <laughs> Why, there was a leak. And two men entered my house and stole the chart. Huh? Oh. And I had a hot time getting it back. You're joking. No, I'm not. I was never more serious. Hey, Brassett, you're in on this. Dick here is riding us for talking a little too much about his pirate gold. <laughs> Why, was this a joke? No, this is serious. And I want you fellows to know that any careless conversation about the chart outside the club might be dangerous to me. Well, you haven't lost the chart, I hope. Not yet, but I came near doing so. How? Well, that's a secret between the chart and myself. Have you called in the police? No, I have good reason to keep them out of it. Hello, Dick. Hello, Mr. Craig. I'm glad to see you, Moreland. And to congratulate you upon your wonderful flight around the world. Thanks. Uh, by the way, my daughter was telling me that she gave you a lift this morning. She certainly did. But you don't know the half of it. Probably not. I never do. Mr. Craig, I'd like to have a confidential talk with you. All right. Shall we go up to the blue room? Well, I prefer my home if it's agreeable with you. It's quite agreeable. Let's go. Don't forget, fellas. Mom, the work. Okay. Okay. Moreland is taking Craig home with him. Listen in on them and contact me at the office. Right. Well, 
My daughter was telling me something of your plans, Dick. She said that you wouldn't mind. Certainly not. I'm more interested than you know. Keep the motor running. I think I have an asset that uh, should entitle me to a partnership in your enterprise. You mean the uh, Lottie Carson? Yes, she's just the ship you need. She's back now from a record trip to Pago Pago. You'd be interested in joining me? I certainly would. Not for the gold, of course, but for the thrill of it. Who could resist the lure of hidden treasures? I'll equip the ship according to your direction with everything you want. Why not come down tomorrow and look her over? She's anchored off Newport Landing. I'd like to. All right. I'll have Dorothy pick you up and uh, take you down in the car. You might as well know right now, Mr. Craig, I'm being shadowed. We'd have to work in secret the, the gang after that chart. You don't mean it. I certainly do, and I'm not going to endanger your daughter. What would you suggest? We'd have to make some effort to throw the enemy off the track. Oh, that ought to be easy. Have Dorothy pick you up as though she were going for a ride. Then head over to the uh, coast uh, highway and then come on down to the landing. I'll do that. You sure it won't give you too much trouble? Oh, no trouble at all. I'm going to be down there tomorrow anyhow. So you see, it's not a bit out of my way. Let's go! Marlin's remark meant only one thing to me. I believe he's going to carry the chart with him hereafter. Wait a minute. Four one speaking. Go ahead. Okay. Stand by until you're relieved. Yeah. and the Craig girl are going to Newport Landing tomorrow to inspect Craig's ship, the Lottie Carson. Great. That'll be our chance to get that chart. Remember, I don't want any gunplay. Just get him and search him for the chart. That's easier said than done. It's got to be done. Trail him. Plant another car on the road so that you can switch to it if necessary. You know the stretch of the highway about five miles south of the old mission? You mean where there's a bridge over the railroad tracks? Yeah. Well, if Morland makes a run for it, you might trap him on the bridge. Use a truck to block him. I'll leave the details to you, but get that chart. Look, I believe that car's following us. Must be the men after that chart. Looks like the same gang. Lost them. You know, they might have taken another road in order to head us off. You're right, Dorothy. I'll grab that motorcycle. Then they follow me. You fix things with its owner and meet me at the boat landing. Moreland was wise to our close car following him. This switch may fool him. Now be careful. I'll keep out of sight with a close hat and stand by for a pickup. Okay. Get going. Say, what's the idea of that guy run away with my motorcycle? Get in here. I'll explain later. Well, you'd sure have to. 
Well, what is this, a publicity gig? There goes one on that motorcycle. Give me the radio. I'll warn the truck. Moreland's coming on a motorcycle. He can't get away. We're running him straight for the trap of the bridge. Driving, 
sister. Do you happen to have a gun? Say, what is this? Mr. Moreland has a very valuable paper that those men are trying to get. I'm believing it when I see it. Moreland tried to hurt. Get that truck out of the way. What are you going to do? Board the train. It's the only thing we can do. We've got to get that truck. Come on. What are you trying to do? Kill yourself? No, I'm trying to avoid being killed. That gang up there had me trapped. Say... Ain't you Dick Moore in the aviator? <laughs> That's me, all right. Gosh, I might have known you weren't sailing through the air like that. What happened? Well, I'll tell you.
The Craig girl. We've got to get this wreck out of here before she gets to Moreland. No, no, just must up a little. I'm sorry, mister, but I wrecked your bike. I'll tell you all about it as we go. Oh, that's all right, Moreland. Lucky break you didn't get wrecked. Newport Landing, Dorothy. Turn to the right of the first crossroad, and we have to step on it. Did you get the charge? I knocked that guy off the train. Didn't you see him? Certainly not. Was he killed? Not a chance. He jumped up and run like a rabbit. Where's the charge? I don't know. Get in the car. Just as I told you, that crate girl picked up Moreland. Give me the radio. I want to call Brasson. LZ calling 4-1. LZ calling 4-1. Now, you boys understand that Dick Morrill expects to use this ship on a treasure hunting expedition. Yes, sir. Now, someone has learned of this and is making desperate attempts to get Morland. So keep your eyes open. We understand, sir. Leave it to us. Now, pick up Morland, my daughter, at Newport Landing, Pier 3. Do, Mr. Moreland. How do you do, Mr. Craig has told us about you. You can count on us if there's any trouble. That's good news. Well, let's go. Okay. All right. Craig's boat is picking up Moreland and the girl at Pier 3. Good. Get going, Joe. Keep well out, and when we're out of the traffic, rush them. All right, take her out.
There's an awful gang of them in there. Yes. They're going mighty fast. Don't you recognize any of them? Yeah. Give a little more gas. Take them forward. yet, Cap? Just picked up two boats off to the leeward, Mr. Craig. Can't make them out, but they're acting queer. They've attacked Moreland and my daughter. Bert, let's get that out of the boat hall. Yes, sir.
Better get sick now. I think he's hurt. Take it in there, boy. Lay two behind one of those boats at anchor. I want to watch Craig and Moreland. Head for the yacht club, Bert. Miss Craig needs medical attention. I'm all right, Daddy. Please, let's go on. Are you sure you are, dear? Yes, I'm all right. All right, Bert. Back to the ship. They're heading back towards the lot of Carson. Let's jump them there. No, there are too many for us. And more than alone is tough enough. I can't see them. They sure made a fast getaway. We'll report this to the police. It's an outrage to attack people in public waters in this Please fashion. Please call Mr. There's only a result of publicity. And too many people know what the treasure now is to be. That's right, Daddy. Publicity would seriously interfere with his plan. What mystifies me is how they knew I was coming to your ship. Well, the only place we discussed it was in your home. The leak must be there. That doesn't seem possible. There's no one there but my uncle. And the butler. He's been with us for 20 years. They're boarding a lot of Carson, all right. Head for the dock. Everybody safe and sound? A little wet, but that's all. Captain Carson, I want you to meet Dick Moreland. How do you do, Captain? How do you do? Now, Dorothy, you better run along and get into some dry things. All right, Daddy. How about you, Dick? Oh, I think I let my canvas dry on me. Spoken like a true sailor. There are some whites in my locker, Miss Craig. I'll show you. Oh, don't bother, Captain. I know my way around the ship. Three masters, hey? Schooner rigged. She couldn't be any better for our purpose if my pirate ancestor, Sir John Morland, had built her. Well, there's one thing quite certain. She's seaworthy. She should be, with those lines. I'd like to see her in full spread of canvas. You will. Just be patient. Now, Dick... I have the utmost confidence in Captain Carson. I'd like to have you show him the charts of the Treasure Island. Better go to my quarters, Lynette. This peg is probably changed by now. I hope so. Mr. Craig tells me you have a lot of faith in your chart. Yes, I have. I've seen lots of treasure hunts. Most of them end in disaster. <laughs> but not this one. I'd like to see your chart, if I may. Oh, well, certainly. While you gentlemen are looking at the chart, I'll change into some dry clothing. All right. You fellas stand by. I'll find Simmons in the car and radio brass it. The man who made this map was a mariner, all right. It looks genuine to me. Thanks, Captain. I'm the only one in my family who really believes in it. Uncle Robert pretends he does, but I have a feeling he's just humoring me. Well, it looks all right to me. My faith in it was strong enough that I made a solo flight around the world to win enough money to equip this expedition. Captain, what do you figure this treasure could be? Well, one of the smaller islands of the old Spanish main. Just off the Panama coast. Then it's liable to be inhabited. More than likely by wild beasts, or still wilder savages. There are cannibals down that way, too. Cannibals? What luck? Mostly bad. I've got to call Brasset. All right. Never mind the excuses. Moreland just outsmarted you, that's all. Now get this. I want you to stand by the Lottie Carson. Don't lose sight of Moreland and don't come back without that chart. All right. I'll keep on the job. Why was he burned up? Come back with me, Simmons. I'll need all hands for the rest of the job. Lock the car. Well, Moreland, 
You see what you're in for now, don't you? I certainly do. <laughs> I really don't think we should go, Daddy. We? Why, my dear girl, you don't think for a moment that I would take you on such an expedition, do you? And you don't think for a moment that I'd let you go on such an expedition without me, do you? All right. You win. <laughs> I'll tell you what we'll do, Joe. We'll lay to far enough off the lot of Carson so that we can see them through glasses, but they can't see us. All right, take her off. Well, I hardly expected just to go there and pick up the treasure and come home with it. But if you folks don't want to go, well, that's all right. But I'm going. Daddy, I think we'd better go ashore. I don't feel so good. I should have taken you ashore to see a doctor in the first place. I'll do it now. I'll go with you. No, please, Dick. Stay here and finish what you started to do. If nothing's serious, I'm just tired. I'll take Bert and Salty along with me, Dick. Uh, Captain Carson will show you the boat while we're gone. All right. Get your head there. Something's happening aboard the Lottie Carson. Let's see. I hope you keep that door. Thank you, Dick. I'll be ashore in an hour or so. All right. You know, a ship's no place for a girl. Oh, she's a fine one. I think she is. Come on, I'll show you about. Three of them are taking the girl away in a boat. Is Moreland with them? No, he's staying aboard. Good. Head for the Lottie Carson and take it easy. I want you to take a look at the hole, Dick. There's space enough down there for 460 tons. 460 tons? Mm -hmm. That's great. Great. They've all ducked out of sight. Speed up, then shut off, and we'll drift down on her. Go ahead, I'll follow you. Listen, honey, we'll go up to the clubhouse and I'll phone Dr. Dunn. But, Daddy, I don't need a doctor. Daddy knows best. All right. I say you have plenty of room down here. You know, Morton, we've got a couple of auxiliary motors on this boat. Come on, I'll show them to you. This is going to be easy. What are you doing on board? I am looking for Dick Moreland. Where is he? I don't know whether it's...
Give me that shot. Give me that shot.
that. We've got what we want. We'll pick up Mike and go ashore. Wait a minute. The captain's coming, too. Let's finish it. Come on. We've got no time for him. Joe, while I radio the boss the good news. If we're not back in 20 minutes, forget us. Come on, boys.
sorry, Alzheimer, but I had to knock you cold. LZ calling 4-1. LZ calling 4-1. This is Bressett. Bird reporting. Yes, we got the chart, and Moreland met with an accident. He's at the bottom of the bay. Okay, fine. Chet will pick you up at the Oaks Garage. Come directly here. Any orders for the boys? Maybe that didn't shoot a lot of joy into the boss, getting the chart and getting Moreland out of the way. Get us to pick us up at Oak's Garage. Let's get out of here. What happened, Dick? More trouble? Those folks bought a lot of costumes and got away with the chart. Oh, Dick, I'm so Sorry. Don't worry, we'll get it back. May I use your car? Why, certainly, but be careful. Those men are desperate. I know they are. I think Dorothy is right, Dick. We should call in the police. What, and have every newspaper in town print the story? And what if they do? Why, every crook in the country will be on our trail. Well, anyway, I'll send one of my men along with you. You may need help. Thanks, Mr. Craig, but we've got to work fast. Oh, Bird. Oh, Bird. Yes, sir. I'm here. I'll phone you what happens. After I take Dorothy home, I'll be at the Aero Club. You will be careful, won't you, yes, Dick? Ah, uh, Bird, go along with Mr. Marlowe, will you? Yes, Mr. Craig. May I see you tonight, Dorothy? Why, of course, Dick. I'll be waiting and anxious. Come on, let's go. Come on. What's the matter with you punks? Don't you know enough to put air in your tires? A couple of you fellas change that wheel. Then beat it to the sky room. We'll wait for you there. Come on. see us. We have to take that chance. I can't afford to lose sight of him. Well, it's all right with me, Mr. Moreland. dumb enough to think he was in the bottom of the ocean. Come on, let's follow him.
I'm going to take the upper road. You take the wheel when I tell you. Get that chart away from Kurt.
We gotta get Morland before he gets that chart away from Kurt. More lives than a cat. Mr. Morlin! Mr. Morlin! Mr. Morlin! How did you ever get out of this alive? I don't know. Did you get the chart? I had it just before the crash. It must be around here somewhere. Look! Say, is this it? Yes. I should say I was lucky. What happened to the gang? Why, they jumped just before the car went over. And I took that lower road to get down here to you. We'd better get out of here before they discover us. Yeah. Come on. We'll head him off on the lower road and get that chart. Take us. Unless you have another trick up your sleeve.
That last stunt lost him. We'll go to my home now. Then to the air club. And then I'll thank you if you return the car to Miss Craig. All right, sir. And Moreland got the chart away from us. Well, it's evident. If I want anything done, I must do it myself. Brassett, do you know that this treasure chart is really on the level? We may be on a wild goose chase. Do you suppose Moreland would have risked his life over and over to keep it if it were a fake? He might be wrong about it himself. But he's not. It's the chart I've been seeking for five years and locates the very treasure we went after on our trip. Only we had the wrong chart that time. You say you heard Moreland tell Craig to wait for him at the Aero Club? That's correct. Well, I'll be there also. They've already asked my advice about the trip. This time I'll give it. Maybe you can get them to take you along. I intend to. But they're going to have to coax me a little. We'll lay off trying to get the chart and work from this other angle. It'll be more difficult, but it's the way we'll have to handle it. Brassett interested in our trip before. He's had valuable experience in treasure hunts. I know he could be great help to us. Yes, but my experience was pretty costly. You see, I chartered a good ship and manned her with an excellent crew. It won't cost you a cent this time, Staley. I'll trade you part of my share for your experience. <laughs> you tempt me strongly, Mr. Craig, and I can assure you there's a lure to me in a treasure hunt. But I'm afraid my business won't permit my going. Perhaps you can put us in touch with uh, your excellent crew that shipped with you. I could do that. I had a first officer named Drake who might be available. And he could round up a few of the sailors for you. They have to be loyal and dependable. It's too much at stake to take a chance. I can assure you that Drake is 100% loyal. Now that's fine, Brassett, but after all, we want you. Well, I'll see about it. Then you consider going? To be frank with you, I'd love to, if I can get away. Then that settles it. Now we'll get down to the details. Let's go to my home. We have a little more privacy <clears> there. <throat> no, there was a leak there last time. Not anymore. I have a new watchman. All right. I'll phone Dorothy to pick me up there. Uh, by the way, Dick, Dorothy seems to have changed her mind about going. You mean she wants to go now? Yes. I agreed too readily with her when she decided against it. <laughs> Thought she might be missing a thrill. <laughs> oh, here, fellas, aren't you going to drink up? Uh, well, you're going to training for the trip. Dorothy, you here so soon? I've made up my mind to go on this trip and intend to be in on everything from now on. Miss Craig, Mr. Brass. How do you do? How do you do, Miss Craig? Dad said he was going to insist on your going, Mr. Brass, and he always has his way. Oh, yes? Except for your concerns, my dear. <laughs> Sit down and make yourself at home. Thanks. I'm in favor of getting underway as soon as possible. Right. I'll have the ship walk to the dock tomorrow. Say, you know, I've got a whole storehouse full of equipment from the other trip. They might as well use that. Well, I intend to supply the most modern equipment. A knockdown plane, a diving outfit, field radio set, motorcycle, explosives. In fact, everything that we might need. You're right, Mr. Craig. The goal may be buried. Or underwater after all these years. Well, you'll surely be prepared for any emergency with all the equipment you intend taking. Uh, may I use your phone, Dave? Certainly. I'll wire Captain Carson at Newport to have the ship at the dock tomorrow. A telegram, please. got things going in a hurry. Isn't it thrilling to be actually loading for the treasure hunt? Yes, it is. But I still have my doubts as to the wisdom of your going along. Now, Dad, 
Don't be selfish. You know it's going to be all fun from now on. I hope so, dear. Morland, uh, this is Drake. I can highly recommend him as first mate. Fine. If he's all right with Captain Carson, why, uh, he's all right with me. Well, I've already spoken to Captain Carson about him, and he's satisfied. But uh, how about a crew? I can get you some able seamen, but of course, Captain Carson will have to give me permission. Suppose we find a captain now. All right. Well, what's the dope? The boss has evidently put Drake over. He'll hire some many nose, and that'll give us half the crew. What about your end? Well, the boys are laying low at my place. We'll smuggle them aboard tonight when Drake's on watch. Meanwhile, the boss wouldn't be exactly sore if we got that chart and something happened to Morland. Call off the trip, wouldn't it? Their trip, yes, but not ours. What do you mean? There's still a chance to get that chart from Morland. Where's your boat? She's under the next dock. Taking a chance, aren't you? Morland might spot it. No. She's all painted new. All right. Stand by and keep Morland covered every minute. Our chance may come before we expect it. I'll look up those men right away, Mr. Morland. That's right, Drake. We want to get on the way as soon as possible. Seems like a capable man. He is. You'll be surprised at the thoroughness with which he does things. Oh, say, Dick, there's some of my stuff coming aboard. I'd better go below and see it stowed. All right. I was just telling Dorothy that we're lucky to have a man like Brassett along with us. Yet he's not the type of man I should think would be interested. Why not? Everybody's interested in a treasure hunt. Looks like we're having a little difficulties up there, Dick. I'd better go up and clear that gin block. Hold it! That's the motor of my plane. I hate to have anything happen to it. Now, that would be serious. Be careful, Dick. Remember that motor has no wings on it. Oh, don't worry. Anything happens to that block and fall would be just too bad. Oh, Daddy, do you think it will?
If anything happened to that block and fall, it would be just too bad. Oh, Daddy, do you think it will? Oh, Marlon! Oh, Marlon! Dad! Come down here and take a look at these crates, will you? All right, I'll go right down! It must have weakened when it fouled in that block. Dick, why in the world did you ever go up there? Are you sure you're all right? I'm all right. But was I scared? Oh, I should my. think you would be. We'd better take a look at those airplane motors. I hope they're not damaged. Warren, you had me very stiff for a moment. I thought we'd lost you. Yes, I'm just lucky, Mr. Bassett. But I'm not so sure my plane motor wasn't damaged. No, the motors seem to be all right. Boy, that's a relief. Yeah. <laughs> that was a close call, Dick. I'm glad everything's all right. Now, if I can get the cargo aboard in time, we'll sail at midnight. Can't sail too soon for me. It's time to lay out your course, Mr. Morland. I need the chart for that. Oh, it's just glorious going on a treasure hunt, isn't it, Dick? It'd be more glorious finding the treasure. <laughs> Let's go up to my cabin. <laughs> All right, you two, on deck. Oh, 
Come on out, Kurt. Let's press it. It's going to be tough hiding in this box. How long will we have to stand it? Not very long. What's the idea of all these explosives? Starting a revolution? No, but this treasure might be buried in the rocks or under the water. Now listen, just take it easy, and above all things, be quiet. All right. Come on, Drake. How long do you figure it will take us to reach the island, Captain? That depends entirely upon the weather, Mr. Morland. Mm -hmm. our treasure island today. We certainly made good time. You know, it seems as though it were only yesterday that we started. Look, Dorothy, land. You see it? Yes. Why, we're heading out to the island. Oh, it's marvelous. Have you everything arranged to take control of the ship? Sure, anytime you say the word. Make a play for the girl. And when Moreland resents it, start the fireworks. She comes now. Go ahead, get busy. What have you got there? Some groceries. Good. I'm hungry. I'm going screwy down here in this hole. It's time Brassett was letting us come out in the open. Would you do a favor for me, Mr. Drake? I'd do anything for you, Miss Craig. Thank you. Father says my trunks are below. I'd like to get into one of them, please. That's easy. Come on. Oh, Peters. Yes, sir. Take Miss Craig below to her trunks. Somebody coming down here. I'll see who it is. Trunks are down here, Mr. Craig. Oh, this is my trunk here. Don't be afraid, miss. While you're getting your things out, I'll go see what it is. Oh, it's you, Peters. Pipe down, you idiots. The jade's with me. Keep quiet and watch out. She might take an ocean to look around. Oh, what was it? Nothing. Just a small case of bottles fell over. Oh. I'm finished with my trunk. Do something soon, or we'll start a little show of our own. Oh, Dick, Dick! Come in my cabin. I want to talk with you. Why, what's the trouble? I can't tell you here. Come on. What's the trouble? 
I just saw one of those men who had been trying to get your chart. Where? In the ship's hold. A stowaway. Are you sure? I'm positive. Peters wasn't sure whether she tumbled or not, but she grabbed Moreland as soon as she came on deck. They're talking in her cabin now. Peters, whom Drake sent below with me, knew he was there. How do you know? He talked with him. I pretended I didn't see him. Don't tell anyone about this. I'll investigate. No, please don't go down there, Dick. You stay right here and don't worry. I'll go and find out. Boys, I'm getting sick of this. We'll take this old tub apart. Mike, see if you can find Drake. Listen, Kurt, Morland's down here. Come on. He went down the ship's hole some time ago to look for a stowaway. A stowaway? Yes, one of those men who's been trying to get Dick's chart. Well, you wait in your cabin, Mr. Craig, and I'll go see what I can find out. Give the boys the word to be ready. Send one of your men up here to take the wheel. Right. The chart isn't on him. We'll throw him in there and lock him up. Get ready, man. We're going to take over the ship. Right. Everything is all set, Brassett. The fireworks will start in a minute. Good work, Drake. Now remember, I bet to keep out of this. Let's go. Come on, man. Come on, boy. All right, man. We'll get the rest up. see about that. I told Dick and he went down there. Something must have happened to him. Captain, how those rats get aboard? I don't know, but I'll soon find out.
For your daughter in this expedition, I'd let it burn up these army rats. so they don't suspect I'm behind it. I'll take care of you all. How? They'll put you in the brig, but I'll see that you get out. If they suspect me, we're all sunk. All right. All right, now. You're my prisoner. What's the matter? Are there any more? I think you knocked out the last one. Good. Good work, Bradford. You put up a great fight, Morland. I don't know what might have happened if this gang got control of the ship. Captain, Morland knocked out the last man. Round up, you men. Put him in the brig. We'll deal with him when we get back to port. If it hadn't been for Dorothy, there wouldn't have been any ship. You know that fire down in the hole? was burning right up to the powder and ammunition. All right, Braxton. Put that fellow in the brig. Come on. Quick, round up those two over there. It was mighty brave of you to come down in the hold after me. It was your cry that roused me. Please don't talk about it, Dick. It was so horrible. Oh, don't worry. Our troubles are over. We rounded up the gang that was after the chart. So there, there. Look! The island! Come on, get in there. Shouldn't you have left more than one man aboard that ship, Captain? Guard those prisoners? Well, it'd be impossible for them to break out of the brig without outside help. I just left Bert there to feed them. Can't you just see that pirate ancestor of yours coming ashore just like this to bury his treasures? Yes, I can. But I bet he didn't go through any more turmoil and strife than we have experienced 
finding it. <laughs> what are your plans, Mr. Morland? We'll make a temporary camp in the jungle and then go after the treasure. All right, folks. Let's follow the trail. Don't worry. The boss will take care of us. Yeah, how do we know the boss will take care of us? I'll bet my share of the loot that Brassett's working on it right now. Yeah. Who in the world ever built this? Some ship, no doubt, was washed up on this island. And the survivors built it. This is as good a place as camp as any. Let's take a look. According to your chart, the treasure should be buried due west of here. Let's go west, then. Oh. What's the matter, Bradford? Oh, I don't know. Feels like an attack on my old tropical fever. That's one of the reasons I hesitated to come. But, oh, don't mind me. I'll struggle along all right. I'm sorry, old man. Why don't you stay here at the hut? Might be wise to leave a rear guard. Don't you think so, Captain? That's a good idea, Dick. Well, perhaps I'd better. But I was hoping to share your first glimpse of the treasure. Are you sure you don't want one of us to stay here with you, Brackett? Oh, no, thanks. Mr. Craig, I'll be all right here. All right, Captain. Well, good luck, everybody. to work as quietly as possible. A shot might arouse the natives. You're right, Dick. I never thought of that. Look here, Dick. Our course lies due southwest from here. That must be over there, near those cliffs. Just the spot to bury a treasure. Straight ahead to the cliffs. boss now in a boat and he's alone the thing for us to do is hold the attention of our guard hey when do we eat hey i've been pulled out of better jails than come you. on sailor we want some food yeah come, come on, on. Listen to me, sailor. If you don't come across with better grub... We saw you coming and held this bird here. Good work. I had to take a chance on being seen, but as I wasn't, I could continue to work undercover. What's the plan? Arm yourselves and we'll go ashore. Morland may have already found the treasure, so we'll have to work fast. Come on. Shove off. Come 
on, hurry up. Go away here. If this chart is right, the treasure should be buried around here somewhere. Look, Dick. You're right, Carson. There are the two rocks. See them? Tim and Andy, move this log here. Yes. Push it right out. Hey. Oh. The treasure should be buried right here. All right, boys, let's go to work. Now you sit up here and make yourself comfortable, dear, and let that man do a little hard work. This place ain't very hot. Let me get out there, Andy. Come on over here with that shovel. And it's soft ground here, isn't it? A white man's hut. Some poor devil's ship washed up on this island. No, Marlon and his party are camped here. Now listen. You can easily follow the trail of the others. Make sure they found the treasure and then do your stuff. Count on us. I think you'd better tie me up and leave me here as if you'd surprise me. Why? In the event Moreland gets the best of you in return. I'll tie you up, but we're going to settle Moreland this time for good. All right, Drake, you come in and do the tying. You can leave a loose loop so that I can free myself if I have to. Looks like we're getting there. Look, I've hit something. must be it. The treasure. Give me a hand. Come on, let's have it. Watch it. Up with it now, boys. Take plenty of rope with you to tie the others. They won't need tying when we get through with them. We'd better hide our supplies somewhere. That's a good idea. Hammer. Here it is. I have to break this lock. All right, boys. Here we go. They sure built chests in those days. Look at that lock. It's all corroded. There they are. It's lucky they didn't spot us. We'll work our way up and surprise them. It turned over and slapped down on right. Watch, Moreland. He's outsmarted us too many times. There it is. Oh, Dick, I can hardly wait until you get it open. Put your hands up in the air. Thanks for saving us the trouble, Moreland. We'll take that chest. Our only chance. 
when they get close. Jumping. Keep your gun over, boy. hold Moreland for a while. Now we'll round up the others. Take him to the hut and we'll tie them up.
the deck, Carson. Well, perhaps the savage has got him. The last I saw of him, he was headed for the cliffs. Well, we'd better go and help him. Gather up those guns, because this time we're going to do some shooting. That's what we should have done in the first place. It's all right, boy. Come on. Go ahead. We thought we had lost Thank you. Thank heavens you're all right. What a fight. It's a good thing those natives showed up. Yes, and there's one badly wounded over there by the treasure location. That's not so good. Come on. Quick, Dorothy. The first aid kit. You know, we can't afford to antagonize these natives. Those wild men jumped us. All right, men, get running. We'll drive them off. Leodamos. What did he say, Carson? He says his people are our friends. They'll help us. Tell them we need help. Nessa de Thomas Ayuda. Pues, ayúdame. Para me. Help him up, Dick. Fellow's all right, Carson. I trust him. I'm not trusting anybody now. <laughs> what do you think it is, boss? I don't know what it is. Let's finish them. Not me. If they're running before, I'm running to let them. The only danger is they might be going after their whole drive. <laughs> they've probably wiped out more than the others, and they'll take the gold to their village. Simmons, you follow them and find out and report back to me. Me? Yes, you. Come on, get going. Miss Guerrillos, vuelven para ayudarlos. Ustedes. He says his warriors are coming back here to help us. Fine. The treasure. Don't you think it's about time that we look at it? A good idea. Oh. That's what we came for. Rocks. Oh, Dick. Rocks, huh? Then our great adventure ends right here. No. There's a treasure buried on this island, and I'm going to find it. That's empty the chest. We may find a clue. Yeah. Oh, there's something. Read it, Dick. He who seek a dead man's chest, ye must be patient and accept his jest. If ye a moorland be, ye'll find it where it rests. Look ye one thousand paces. One thousand paces. Is that all? No, there seems to be something else, but it's almost invisible. I have a chemical at the hut that'll bring that out. Oh, let's go get it. That's so fast, Dorothy. We must first find out what happened to Kirk and his gang. Está bien. Patrón, los gringos están enferrados en la choza. This warrior says the white people are barricaded in the hut. Which means they've got brass. They'll try to hold the hut and all our provisions. Ask the chief if his warriors will help us to surround the hut and force them to surrender. Ayúdenos. And there we are. La choza. Está bien. Says so yes, he'll help us. Fine. Then here's what we'll do. Before we get near enough to be seen, 
we divide our forces. We spread out and surround them. Now you explain our plan to the chief as we go. Bubble! My answer! Those savages didn't get Simmons. Here he comes. What happened, Simmons? Tell us. Moreland's made friends with those savages. You mean to say the savages didn't attack them? No, Captain Carson speaks their lingo and he's lined them up against us. Well, what about the gold? <laughs> there ain't none. The chest was empty. Then his chart was a bluff? I don't know about that, but he found another chart in the chest. Did you get any dope on this new chart? Not a bit. Well, the gold is undoubtedly on this island, so we still have a chance. A swell chance with those wild men lined up with Moreland. And they're coming here with Moreland to capture us. What makes you think so? I heard them talking. They got us whipped. What's your plan, boss? Well, as far as I'm concerned, they still think I'm on their side. And I've got an ace in the hole. Bean shooter don't look like an ace in the hole to me. Millions of people in the world know nothing of the value of this device. Doesn't look like anything to me. What's it for? These cylinders form a magnetic wave current with the gold or oil or whatever it is you're trying to locate. Now, if you follow instructions, you can't miss. All right, now, tie me up the same as you did before so that I can free myself if I have to. And Simmons, you come back tonight and report to me what you've all done. Now listen, men. In order to avoid meeting Moreland's party, we'll go back to the chest location along the beach trail. So long, Pratchett. See you tonight. All right. Good luck, men. Bring out your men, Kurt, with hands up. We've got you surrounded. Come on, we mean business. That you, Dick? This is Brassett. Those crooks have me all trussed up. Come in and get me loose. Wait. Those devils may be forcing him to say that. You go through the back way. We'll go through the front. Come on in, Dick. It's all right. I'm here alone. Come on. I was feeling so badly, I thought I'd lie down when those cutthroats sneaked in and jumped me while I was asleep. They must have been in a hurry. Didn't tie your hands very securely. Well, I've been working for an hour, trying to get loose. How do you figure they got out of the brig and escaped from the ship, Brassett? The only way I can figure it is that Bert must have turned traitor. Bert's no traitor. He sailed with me for years. Maybe they killed him. We'll soon find out. What do you suppose those crooks are, Brassett? Well, they're hiding in the jungle, no doubt. Well, how about the buried treasure? Did you locate it? Not yet. But we're hot on the trail. Look what I found. See what you can make out of it. Well, while you're figuring this out, I'll find out where those devils are. How? I'll have the chief send some of his young warriors to trail them. He who seek a dead man's chest, he must be patient and accept his jest. If ye a moorland be, you'll find it where it rests. Look ye one thousand paces. Look ye one thousand paces. But where? Salvo! Dasco! Base! Bosco los amigos! Enseguida! Well, my advice is that we forget about this treasure and go home. No, sir. 
We're going to find that gold. I've got it. Look. Isn't that great? Yes, and we're going to get it. And we'll take plenty of equipment with us this time. Well, here we are. There's your empty chest. All right, Drake, try out that thing. And I hope it works. Look, fellas, it's pointing over there near that cave entrance. I'll bet that treasure is buried in those caves. We'll soon find out. Come on. Tell the chief we go back to the chest location and start from there. Vámonos el tesoro. Está bien. Muchachos, vámonos al tesoro. Enseguida. <laughs> Look, fellas, we've got it. All right, let's dig her out. This is too slow. Get out the dynamite and we'll put in a blast. Patron, los hombres están escarabando entre las rocas. He says they saw Kurt and his gang digging in a pile of rocks near a cave. And they act as if they found something. This is the time to capture them while they're busy digging up the treasure. Tell the two warriors that lead us to the cave where the others are digging. Vámonos a la cueva. Está bien. Pues, vámonos a la cueva. Muchachos, vámonos a la cueva. Everything set? Yeah. You got a big enough charge in there to blow up the whole island. Working right into our arm. Beat it into the cave. They can't get us in there. How about that blast? It's a five-minute fuse. We got time. What did you want to do with that for? I'm sorry, Dick. It was an accident. Oh. What are you going to do? Stay here till that blast goes off? It might close them out this cave. We'll never get out. There's only one chance. Get ready, and we'll make a run for it. Come on, me, and we'll shoot it out. Get on the cover. Whoa! Never mind, Morland. Look what's coming. No, 
Dorothy. You stay here. We've got to do our part. Why don't you let the natives handle that gang? What's the matter with you? Are you afraid? better go back to your father and dress it. You'll be safer there. No, Dick, this is our opportunity to see if they have found the treasure. I can help you. under those rocks over there. Come on, men. Let's get the cross Come on, come on. We're playing in luck. The natives have been scared off, and more than the girl were caught in the blast. We'll settle the rest of them, then finish digging up the treasure. 
Look, I think that's a ray of light. Oh, Dick, I think it is. Come on, we went to it. Slow now. Be careful. I got you. Oh, Dick. All right. Stay where you are. You haven't a chance. Don't be a fool, Craig. They've got us covered. All they want is the treasure. Let them have it. Line up there. We're taking you back to the hut. But Dick Morland, my daughter, they were caught under this explosion. We've got to find out what happened to them. You're wasting time worrying about them. Get going. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Move. Look, Dorothy. Light. And fresh air. That's right. Must be Nixon. I'll go and see. We can get out that way. Come on. All we can do is follow them and hope for a chance to free them. Keep your hands up and don't try any tricks or you'll get the same as Morland got. Come on. Take them in the hut and tie them up. What are you going to do with Brasson? We'll keep him outside. He's a troublemaker. Come on, get in there. Move. Now that Moreland's out of the way, we can go back and get the treasure. Exactly. And then take the ship and go. Drake and Handler. How about the prisoners? We'll hold them prisoners until we're ready to go. Leave Walt and Luke to guard them. How about rowing a boat over to that point near where the treasure's buried? That'll save a long haul. It's a good idea. And listen. When you tell the boys about going for the treasure, make the stall that you're taking me with you because I'm a troublemaker. And make it good and loud so they hear you inside. We're going after the treasure. We'll take Brassard with us so that we don't have to worry about him. Walt, you and Luke stay here on guard. Don't you think we better take some of our equipment with us? Yes, that's a good idea. Come on, move. I wonder why they're taking Brassett with him. They split their party and left only two guards. What are you going to do? I'll get as close as I can. And then surprise him. How can I help you? We're staying right here. Please be careful, Dick. Hey, Luke, you stay here. I'll find out what that was.
Something's up. Listen. Can you hear them out there? My child. What happened? I thought you were lost. Never mind what happened. Get that stool and stand on it here. See if you can untie those knots. There. We've got to hurry and, and help Vic. Let's try and get those boys untied there. Come on, Craig. Dick, you certainly must have put up some fight. Get out there and help dig. Boy, get some rope and tie these two birds up. Come on, Jim. How did you and Dorothy ever get out of that explosion alive? I guess we were just lucky. Where's Bassett? They had him outside. They took Bassett with them. Let's go and settle this once and for all. No, no, Captain. It would only lead in a needless sacrifice of lives. We have the upper hand. Why not take a page from their book? You mean... Let them dig up the treasure, and then we'll take it away from them. It's rightfully ours. A good idea. It may be very deeper than ever now. You set off too big a blast. It did us one good turn anyhow. You mean Moreland? Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter, Andy? Those thugs made their getaway. They'll want Kurt and the others. we better follow them. It's Bert. The man I left aboard to guard the prisoners. I was afraid I'd done away with him. What happened, Bert? How those crooks get out of that brig? Oh, there's no time for talk now. As I was coming ashore in a cove near here, I saw those thugs landing in your longboat. And Mr. Brassett was with them. They started digging in a rocky place near a cave. I wonder if Brassett's in with that gang. Doesn't seem possible. But we must beat them there at all costs. We'll take the healing route. It's the shortest. Come on, boys. Look, man. The fast fortune here. Gold coins. Solid plate jewels. Savages. No time to be lost. We've got to get this to the boat. How about Walt and Loke? They'll have to look out for themselves. If they don't arrive, all the more for us, eh, men? Why did you leave your prisoners? Molly came back and turned them loose. Molly? 
Yes, him and the girl. We've got to get to the ship before they attack us. All right, give them a hand with the chest. Come on, men, hurry it up. Wait. We're not far now from the place I saw them digging. They've got to come back along this trail in order to reach their longboat. Couldn't have found any better place than right here to ambush them. Keep your legs open, men. Pretty bad going through here. Dorothy, you hide back there, right off the trail. And keep out of the fight. Come on, men. Get under cover. All right, Tim. Get ready. Look out, men! <laughs> Get away this time, Boyle. Finish him, Grrrr! <laughs> 
Suffer for this brass. Oh, cut out the chatter, Craig. Say, where's Marlon? He's down there with the crocs. Daddy, Daddy, Listen, I... Oh. I'll take him down to the hut, tie him up, and then come back and get the shredder aboard the ship. What about Carson? Oh, he can't harm us anymore. Leave him where he is. Yes, and we'd better move fast. For the sound of those savages, we'll never get off of this island alive. Well, what about this treasure? Leave it there. Nobody will take it. Come on, get him out of All here. All right, come on. Get out. Go on, Get out What are you doing here alone, Carson? Where are the others? That devil Brassett and his cutthroats took them prisoners to the hut and just about knocked me cold. Dorothy, did they take her? Was she hurt? She's all right. Brassett, I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I ever oh, do. Pipe oh. down. But Brassett's coming back to get the treasure. And take it to the ship. He just thinks he is. Savages. <laughs> Yes, and they're coming back, reinforced. I wish you would go to the savages and bring their chief here. I could get him to wipe Brassett and his gang of cutthroats off the island. But how can I make him understand? It isn't that. But there's a general uprising. Kurt, tie up your prisoners and let's get that treasure aboard the ship before those devils get us. You surely aren't going to leave us here. Helplessly tied, are you? Tie him up and let's get away from Oh, you! I'll try to get to the hut. Release Dorothy and the others. You stay here. All right, Dick. But be careful. All right, Brassett. We got the troublemakers all tied up. Savages are getting closer. We've got to work fast. Come on. Oh, Daddy, I can't stand this much longer. Don't worry, dear. Try and keep up a little longer, will you? I have a hunch that Dick's going to get through to us. I hope so. Just hold out there. Bert, will you try to roll over there? Yeah. All right, men. Hurry up and get this treasure chest. We'll try and reach the ship before those devils right. come up on us. Drag it off, boy.
Thank heaven you're alive in here, Marlon. Get her loose, will you? Oh. Sure lucky for us you got through. Fasten his men. I'll take him to treasure to the ship. Never mind the treasure. All we want to do is to get away from this place alive. The savages have their war canoes. We'll appeal to them for help and attack the ship. But Carson was the only one who could speak their native language, who could make them understand. Now he's gone. No. I tell you what we'll do. We'll go back and pick up Carson, then locate the natives and have Carson appeal to them for help. Come on. Badly injured, Captain. My leg is in pretty bad shape. But with a little help, I'll be able to navigate. How has that brass and gang left the treasure here? They started to carry it off. But the natives swooped down on them and took them all prisoners. I can't understand why the savages didn't take the treasure with them. They didn't know what was in the chest. But they'll probably come back to find out after they get through with Brassett and his gang of cutthroats. They've taken them to the village to burn them up. We can't let them do that. We've got to save them. What's more important to us just now is saving ourselves. Now listen, Dick. Any attempt on your part to save Brassett or his gang will be just plain suicide. Sorry, Craig, but I can't see it your way. Take Dorothy and the treasure chest and get aboard at once. No, we're going to stay right here until you return. That wouldn't be fair to Dorothy. All right, we'll take the treasure aboard. But if you don't show up within a reasonable time, then we're coming after you. All right. Get to the longboat as soon as possible. Uh, we're taking Brass's longboat, and we'll leave yours right in the cove, so you can make a quick getaway. And you help me with caution. Oh, Dick, please be careful. We'll be waiting for you. You will come back, won't you? Don't worry. I'll be back. Hurry up and get to the ship. Come on, Dorothy. All right, man. <sighs> now, old-timer... We certainly got to do our part. Come on. Natives are sure on the war path. I'm afraid we'll be too late to save them. I'll go on, and you follow as quickly as you can. Oh, you're taking an awful chance, Dick. The jungle is full of savages. I know. I may be able to hold them off for Brassett and his men. Until you get there. Come on, Andy. <laughs>
This is our finish, Brassett. You speak their language, Drake. Why don't you appeal to them? I'll offer them the treasure. They'll fall for the jewel. What, are you crazy? We want that treasure ourselves. Yeah, what good will that do you when they get through tinkering with us? I'm afraid we're too late. So they got you too, huh, Marlon? Say, Marlon, you know the chief's son. Why don't you talk to him and get us out of here? Yeah. A men for you and your cutthroats killing so many natives. This wouldn't have happened. of his people. Tell him, if he releases them, I'll guarantee that they will be punished. He say, Kalo guarantees sus comportamentos. Si, voy a soltarlos. Y 
you know, Carson, I'd be glad when we get home. So will I, Dick. According to the chart, we are 18 days from home. With a break full of prisoners. I hope you're satisfied now, Brassett. Yeah, this mess is liable to keep us in jail for the rest of our lives. Pipe down. Look at all those gold and jewelry. That old pirate ancestor of mine sure knew his treasure. Oh, huh, Dorothy? Dick, I never dreamed I'd ever see such a wealth of gold and precious jewels. I'm dreaming of a treasure more precious than all of this. Why, Dick? More treasure than all this? Yes. Shut your eyes and hold out your hand. No, the other one. Just fifth. 